Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Monday Night Ignite. We have a special speaker with us tonight, Tamara Packer, who is a global educator for Young Living Essential Oils. And Tamara is much more than a global educator. She is a licensed massage therapist, a cranial sacral master, in my opinion. I've personally <laughs> received from Tamara and really wish I lived in her back door, <laughs> her backyard with that. Tamara has traveled around um, opening up clinics with Gary Young from since 2005. And I first met Tamara when she opened and started the Nova Vita Clinic in Ecuador. So Tamara is the mastermind behind training the doctors, getting the doctors up to speed and making sure that that spa is doing what um, serves humanity. So um, I've had that privilege of knowing you since 2008, Tamara, and we have taught many uh, yoga and wellness retreats together throughout the years. We're so excited to hear from you tonight about the history of Raindrop and learn some really powerful VitaFlex technique so that I feel like that's the main important part of learning the raindrop is getting that VitaFlex down. So we're happy to have you teach us tonight and the floor is yours. Well, thank you. And um, thank you, Pamela and Stacy, for inviting me on this call tonight. As Pamela has said, I started actually working with Gary in um, 2005 and he Gary had a wellness center in Utah at that time. So I was living in Idaho and sold my house and moved to Utah. And right after that, that um, the wellness center in Utah was closed. And that's when Gary started investigating um, Ecuador. We were actually learning from a naturopathic doctor in uh, the island of Nevis when I started with Gary. And uh, we uh, finished up some of these courses in Ecuador. And so when we first started going to Ecuador, um, Gary and I went on um, this surgery truck with medical doctors and Gary was able to participate in that. And at that time, that's when I um, actually gave one of the first raindrops that I, I saw a significant difference. We would go out into the small villages in Ecuador. Uh, these were places that uh, people could not afford um, medical um, help or service. And so we would... Uh, go out with this doctor from uh, Cuenca, Ecuador, and he had a surgery truck, um, like a back of a semi, turned into a surgery truck. And um, we had um, a beautiful Catholic missionary come, and she had uh, severe uh, challenges with her spine. And so uh, Gary had me um, do raindrop on her, and it was amazing at that time i became became convinced that this raindrop technique really was powerful and through the years since then i've had the opportunity to uh, give many raindrops to um, people around the world as pamela said and also had the opportunity to share the raindrop with people around the world gary's vision was to have people do the raindrop on their family and friends. He um, knew that this was such an important technique. And the way that Gary formulated the raindrop, I think was genius because it's really difficult to do the entire raindrop on yourself. Of course, you can do the roll and release technique on your feet, but the entire raindrop, you need another person to get the um, full benefit of the raindrop. So. I think Gary was genius in um, having the raindrop so it brought people together to help one another and particularly the family and friends. <clears throat> so let me back up to Gary now. I did have the opportunity when I first went to Ecuador to learn the raindrop personally from Gary. I remember I was kind of nervous as a massage therapist. I thought it would be you know, very simple, but some of the techniques that Gary chose to put in the uh, raindrop technique were foreign to me actually as a massage therapist. And so it was um, with great patience that Gary taught me 
these different techniques. And it has certainly been my uh, honor and pleasure to share this technique with many around the world. Gary formulated the raindrop technique in 1989. It was because of his vast study of essential oils, of course, his um, uh, experimentation, and also I have to say uh, his inspiration is his intuitiveness. If you were ever around Gary or had the opportunity to spend time with Gary, he was a very intuitive person. And uh, these three things is how he uh, combined the methods that had been used for centuries with the essential oils, uh, targeted massage techniques, and also very distinctive uh, energy approaches. And he put that all together to formulate the raindrop technique. The raindrop technique, of course, is very harmonizing, uh, relaxing, and rejuvenating. And what the raindrop technique can do is help the mind and body work together. <clears throat> and I think that's exactly what Gary, you know, had in mind when he uh, formulated the raindrop technique. Um, you know, it's very interesting, as I've watched over the years, uh, Gary even do raindrop and teach raindrop. It is... Um, I wouldn't say surprising, but but yes, surprising to see the different outcomes of each person that receives the raindrop. You know, whether it's an emotional um, experience during the raindrop or just uh, completely uh, relaxation or uh, some part of the body that the recipient might be thinking that needs some rejuvenation. And so uh, Gary um, definitely when he was putting this together, uh, chose the oils that would best benefit the recipient. Um, so as a, a facilitator, if you've never done raindrop before, uh, before you start the raindrop, it's very important that you are in a clear space yourself. You know, we all have a lot of um, challenges in the <laughs> right now in the world. And um, it's very important that when you do the raindrop that it's with a clear mind. And so um, the first oil that is not in the raindrop kit that we often use in raindrop is the white angelica. And um, I, I'm, next I'm going to go through all of the oils that Gary chose for the, um, for the raindrop. As I mentioned, white angelica is not included in the raindrop kit and it is not necessary uh, for a successful raindrop. However, I feel it's a very nice addition. Um, and so what I'm going to do is as I introduce these oils, I'm actually going to uh, read what is in our website about these oils, okay? So the White Angelica essential oil is a blend of 10 essential oils and a carrier oil that envelops the body in a nurturing aroma of protection and positivity. What I like most about it, and what I feel it really does is help neutralize the negative energies that you might have or feel and gives you a, a feeling of wholeness. I love our website and I know Pamela helped with a lot of this um, adjustment of the website and so we can actually say more about the oils that are used in the raindrop. So the next oil in the raindrop is <clears throat> the Valor, and I'm going to hold these oils up maybe so you can see them if you're not familiar with them. Valor happens to be one of my very, very favorite oils. And Valor was uh, formulated based on historical writings um, of Roman soldiers who were said to apply plant extracts and botanicals to instill feelings of courage and confidence before going into battle. And that's what I really like about the Valor is it it doesn't, and um, instill that, that courage and the confidence and maybe even uh, the aroma assists with the self-esteem. The next oil in the raindrop kit is the oregano oil. And um, the oregano oil is one of the most powerful and versatile antioxidant essential oils. It also strengthens the energy centers of the body. Of course, next is the thyme oil. The thyme oil contains the powerful antioxidant thymol that supports the immune system. The 
basil is next. Basil essential oil refreshes the mind when inhaled and soothes fatigued muscles when massaged into the skin. As I go through each of these oils, it's interesting to me, my thoughts that come because it's like, oh, this is one of my favorite oils. Like I said about the Valor, the next oil I say, oh my goodness, oregano, that's got to be one of my favorites. And it goes on and on here. So Cypress is the next one that we're to next. And that certainly is one of my favorites. It uh, certainly has a clean evergreen aroma that can be used aromatically to create the ambience of security and grounding when applied topically. And of course it has benefits for the skin and the hair. <clears throat> Uh, next, we have the winter green, and it contains methyl salicylate, which is beneficial for use during a soothing massage to cool fatigued muscles. So I'm, uh, as I mentioned, just reading these descriptions um, right off our website. So it's really exciting if you're teaching people about these oils or whatever you're teaching, you can, you can go right to the website and get the information there. Marjoram. Oh. Here's. Oh, I've got these mixed up, I apologize. The marjoram is next. And here we go, I think I held it up instead of the valor. Marjoram uh, oil may soothe fatigue muscles and joints when applied topically. And one thing I used to talk about marjoram is that the Greeks uh, used to call it the oil of joy. And my personal experience was with marjoram is very, um, um, for me, it gave me the testimony of how soothing marjoram can be. Um, my husband passed away almost 20 years ago now. And I was just really becoming familiar with the oils at that time. And I didn't know much about marjoram, but it was like, I could not get enough of marjoram. You know, I just breathed it. I rubbed it on me every single day. And when I realized what the Greeks used to call it is the oil of joy, then I realized it was helping me emotionally also. <clears throat> After the marjoram is a beautiful blend, aroma seas, and it has an invigorating yet calming aroma that provides soothing comfort for fatigued muscles. Now, aroma seas has four of the oils that we've already mentioned. It has marjoram, uh, cypress, peppermint, basil, and also a little bit of uh, lavender in it. And then uh, the last oil, is the peppermint oil and it contains menthol, which also soothes fatigued muscles. And so those are the oils in the raindrop kit. When you buy the kit, there's also two larger bottles of carrier oil. And we have the V6 vegetable complex oil and also the, <clears throat> um, I've got, an old kit here that has body ease, but it's the um, <laughs> ortho ease that's in our kits. Um, these oils, as you can see, are very large bottles. And so what I like to do is if I'm going to do very many raindrops is, is actually buy the kit first. And then uh, when I've used up the five mil bottles, then instead of buying another kit, then I will buy the 15 mil bottles of all the oils in the kit. And that way I have plenty of the carrier oils. One thing you need to recognize with these carrier oils and Young Living is actually changing uh, the formulation of these oils is that uh, along with coconut and almond and grapeseed oil, it does have wheat germ oil in it. And so for those people like Pamela that have a hard time with the wheat germ oil, then you would need to choose another carrier oil. And uh, soon Young Living will have another carrier oil. I don't know when it, for sure it will come out in the raindrop kit. So those are the oils that 
again, through Gary's um, vast research of essential oils, his uh, experimentation, and also his um, intuition that he put together for the, the raindrop. <clears throat> now I'd like to go uh, through the different techniques that Gary has added uh, to the raindrop. And the one I'd really like to focus on tonight, of course, is the roll and release technique. Before that, though, we start with the valor and we do what's called the balancing body energy technique. To do this technique, it's very simple. You place three drops of valor in the palm of the right hand and rub the valor on the bottom of the recipient, the person you're working on, right foot. And then you place three drops of valor in the palm of the left hand and place this on, rub this on the bottom of the recipient's left foot. To do the technique, you place the palm of the right hand on the bottom of the recipient's right foot, and then you place the palm of the left hand on the bottom of the recipient's left foot. And this is the balancing uh, body energy technique. It used to be called Valor Balance, actually, and it's a beautiful technique. I think a lot of people don't realize that you can do this technique anytime. You don't have to be doing raindrop or even, you know, using the fillings kit. You can just do this. A lot of people I know with their children love to do this technique every night before they go to bed. I think it's a great technique. You know, even you can do this on yourself, of course, by rubbing it on the bottom of each foot and holding the foot with the palm of your hand. I love to do this before um, I maybe before I'm going to give a, a speech or talk or just to give me that, like you said, the valor, that confidence and the and the courage that valor can be in the brain. And for me, by putting it on the bottom of the feet, then it also gives me the feeling of being grounded also. So please practice with the valor and the balancing body energy technique. Now, the next technique in the raindrop is called the roll and release technique. And that's what we're going to focus on tonight. The roll and release technique, Gary Young actually learned this from a gentleman named Stanley Burroughs. And it was previous, previously called Vitaflex. And this is a very old technique. In fact, some say that it was around even before um, acupuncture. And we actually have at least... 1400 different Vitaflex points on our body. With the raindrop, then we concentrate on the spinal reflex point on the bottom of the foot. This technique is um, a very interesting technique because what it does is it, it brings, um, uh, it addresses the reflex point so that it goes to the spinal area in the body. Um, it uh, uses piezoelectricity and I like to think of it as a, um, a battery. <laughs> and I will go through this technique, but first I want to explain the other techniques, okay? With the roll and release technique, we start with oregano oil and um, I'll just briefly ex explain this and then we'll practice on our arms and demonstrate the roll and release technique. Um, to do the roll and release technique, you place your left hand on the recipient's right foot and place two to three drops. We start with the oregano oil on the feet uh, in the palm of the left hand with the fingertips of the right hand. Uh, we circle clockwise three times. This helps bring up the energy. And then we start on the bottom of the foot with this roll and release technique. And uh, this is done three times on each foot, <clears throat> alternating from right foot to the left foot with the oils mentioned, oregano, thyme, basil, cypress, winter green, marjoram. We don't use the aroma seas with the roll and release technique. We skip over to the peppermint. Remember the aroma seas has four of the oils that we've already used. So it's not necessary to use it on the feet. However, we use it on the back. When you've completed the roll and release technique on the feet, then you turn the recipient over 
and start with different techniques on the back. Um, the first technique is called the feathering technique. And this technique um, is a very special technique that Gary actually implemented because of his time that he was able to spend with the Lakotas, the Native American tribe. He spent some time with the chief and I don't remember that chief's name, I used to. I'll have to look that up. This chief told Gary that um, they used to take their peoples into um, Northern part of um, our continent here in Canada, and they would um, watch the Northern Lights. And they really believed that the Northern Lights had healing energies. When the borders were created between the US and Canada, and they could no longer make that trek um, into Canada, then they formulated a very, very light touch that they believed brought in the same healing energies as the Northern Lights. And so that's what Gary implemented with a very light touch um, with the feathering and also the fanning. It is so light that the person on the table will probably get goosebumps. And so um, important thing to remember when you're learning the raindrop is how light this touch is. As a massage therapist, this light touch is called effleurage. And this effleurage, some of the things that it does is uh, stimulate the nerves, increase the circulation, and really help to relax the muscles. And so I can really see what an important technique it is that Gary learned from the, the Native um, Americans and implemented into our raindrop. And so this technique is done after every single oil. I won't go into this technique tonight. Um, however, the, the technique is important to remember uh, after every single oil, the feathering and then the fanning. And then um, Gary added some different massage techniques that are very important for the relaxation and rejuvenation and particularly in my viewpoint to uh, support spinal health. <clears throat> Some of the techniques, you know, like after the basal, it's called the spinal tissue pull. And after the cypress is a spinal straddle. After winter green is the thumb roll. After marjoram is the circular massage technique. And after the aroma seas is the palm slide. <clears throat> so, um, Next, what I'd like to do is go back and go through the, the roll and release technique. Like I said, I wanted to focus on that tonight. It's a very important part of the raindrop. And I think that takes people the longest probably to learn is the roll and release technique. And so if you have somebody with you tonight, a partner or someone you can grab, then please grab that person and we will, um, I will go through the roll and release technique. Before we do that though, I am going to have you practice on your arm. <clears throat> and I am going to get my uh, son-in-law and put his foot up here to demonstrate on, okay? And if you just give me a moment to do that, Nico. Thank you. So what I'd like you to do to practice this roll and release technique first is to just pull out your arm and place the palm of your hand on top of your arm. Can you see that okay? And then make a slight curve to your fingers so that the tips of your fingers are almost even. The fingers are placed really close together and you can see the pads of my fingers are placed on my arm. So go to the pad, next go to the tip and then all the way over to the nail. You can see my nails are flat against my arm and then you pull back to the pad while sliding up the foot about a fourth of an inch like I say we're practicing on our arms so slide up the arm so that again that's pad tip nail pull back to the pad and slide up the arm pad tip nail pull back to the pad pad tip nail pull back to the pad all the way over you want to make certain that those 
fingernails are flat against your arm and then pull all of the way back. Pad tip nail and back to the pad. All the way over, all the way back. Pad tip nail, back to the pad. All the way over, pull all of the way back. Pad tip nail, back to the pad. All the way over, pull all the way back. Pad tip nail, back to the pad. And now when you get to the little finger, I want you to pretend it's the person's big toe that you're working on. It will give you practice that way. So as you are at the little finger, you keep going. Pad tip nail, pull all of the way back. Pad tip nail, all the way back to the pad. All the way over, all the way back. You can see all of my fingers are still going over on that little finger. Pad tip nail, pull back to the pad. All the way over all the way back, pad tip nail, back to the pad. Now, when I get to the end of the little finger, first my little finger starts coming off. I work one finger off of the big toe at a time, pad tip nail, back to the pad, all the way over, all the way back. My ring finger comes off as I'm doing this. And then the middle finger comes off, and I keep going pad tip nail back to the pad until I just have the index finger left. I turn with that index finger. My thumb is placed lightly on my fingernail and I start with the pad, go to the tip, all the way over to the nail three times. Everything is raindrop is done three times. It keeps it consistent and easy to remember. Um, the number three is a very powerful number also. So what I'm going to do next is um, have my recipient, my son-in-law get on the table. Thank you, Jesse, for helping us out tonight. And um, I'm going to show you how to do this on Jesse's feet, okay? And so I'll hand the phone over to my beautiful daughter, Shara. This is Shara. <laughs> and I'll let Jesse get on the table. All right, Jesse. So again, as we start the, the raindrop, of course, you have your uh, recipient laid face up on the table to start with. And as you start the raindrop, one thing I'd like to say, you know, even if you're doing it in your home or wherever you are, that it's uh, important, as I mentioned before, to have a good mindset and leave everything outside of the room, your worries, et cetera. And I have to say, no matter how many people I have worked on with Raindrop, I really do consider it an honor for another person to allow me to touch their body. And so whoever you're doing the Raindrop on, your 12-year-old, your husband, wife, um, please keep that in mind. And um, it's nice to have all of your Raindrop oils set up so that you can keep contact with the person that you're working with. And um, also... Um, you can do the raindrop on a couch or a bed. It's much easier if you have a massage table, but you can, I've done many raindrops in even hotel rooms for people. So keep that in mind too. If you can uh, get um, a massage table, that's fantastic though. So first I'd like to go back to the balancing body energy technique to show you how that's done with the valor and then i will go right into the roll and release technique okay so for the balancing body energy technique again you take out the valor oil and um, i place three drops in the palm of my right hand i rub this on the bottom of the right foot Next, I place three drops of Valor in the palm of my left hand and place this on the bottom of the left foot. I then place the palm of my right hand on the bottom of the right foot and I place the palm of my left hand on the bottom of the left foot. And I ask the recipient to place their hands down to their sides or or on their hip bones. This way you have the free 
flow of energy between the recipient and the facilitator, the person doing the raindrop. This technique is held for five minutes. It's important as a facilitator to watch your own posture. So I like to bend my legs and keep my back as straight as possible. I won't hold this for five minutes tonight. I just wanted to show you how this is done. Now to start the roll and release technique, the first oil I take out is the oregano oil. <clears throat> I place my left hand on the recipient's left foot, right foot, left hand on right foot. We start with the right foot every time. I place two to three drops of the oregano oil in the palm of that hand. With the fingertips of my right hand, I circle clockwise three times. And now to get to that spinal reflex area on the bottom of the foot, I place my index finger alongside of the recipient's ankle bone, the part that is closest to the table, and I bring that straight down. And hopefully you can see where my index finger is on the heel. I line all of my fingers up right along that spinal reflex point. If I had a marker, this is the area that I want to address. This is a spinal reflex area. So again, I measure straight down from the ankle bone, I line all of the fingertips up along that spinal reflex area. I place the palm of my hand on top of the foot. I start with the pad, go to the tip, all the way over to the nail. The nails are flat against the bottom of the foot. And then I pull back to the pad. If you don't have someone to practice on, um, just practice on your arm. Pad, tip, nail, pull back to the pad, all the way over, all the way back. Pad tip nail and back to the pad, all the way over, all the way back. Pad tip nail, back to the pad. Pad tip nail, back to the pad, all the way over, all the way back. The pressure that I'm using is just enough pressure to go all the way over and pull back. If you have someone that's very ticklish, then you might want to add more pressure. The pressure is not the important part of this technique. Uh, the action is the important part. Uh, I like to think of it like a, a battery. So when I start with the pad, you know, that's the more neutral part. When I go to the tip, that's the firing part or the positive part. The nails, the negative part or the grounding part. And then I call pull back to the pad. Pad tip nail back to the pad. So we're firing these reflexes. Pad tip nail and back to the pad all the way over, all the way back. As you can see, when I get to the big toe, all four fingertips are lined up and I keep going all the way over, all the way back, all the way over, all the way back, working one finger at a time off of that big toe. When just the index finger is left, turn with the index finger, I place my thumb on the toenail and with the index finger, I do the rolling release technique three times, starting with the pad, go to the tip, over to the nail, and back to the pad. Each time before going down the foot, I again circle clockwise three times, picking up more oil, bringing up the energy. I place my index finger alongside of the ankle bone, the part that is closest to the table, I bring that straight down, line up the fingers along that spinal reflex area, place the palm of my hand on top of the foot. I start with the pad, go to the tip, all the way over to the nail and pull back to the pad. Pad tip nail and when I pull back to the pad, I slide up the foot about one fourth of an inch. Pad tip nail back to the pad, all the way over, all the way back. Pad tip nail and back to the pad. Pad tip nail and back to the pad. It's very important when you do raindrop to have short fingernails. <laughs> um, you can do the techniques uh, much better with short fingernails and it's uh, comfortable for a recipient. Some of these techniques would not be comfortable if you had long fingernails. 
pad tip now. I'm back to the pad all the way over, all the way back, working one finger at a time off of the big toe. When just the index finger is left, turn, start with the pad, go to the tip, over to the nail, and back to the pad. I mentioned before, everything in raindrop is done three times. So again, we circle clockwise three times with the fingertips of the right hand, make the measurement line of the fingers. And now this is the third time to go up the foot with the oregano oil. Pad tip nail, back to the pad. The speed it should be a nice, even, comfortable speed. When I first started, I was very methodical and um, did this technique very slowly, which works. Now what I have to do, I need have to slow myself down. One, two, three. Now I still have some oregano left in the palm of my left hand. So I'm just going to rub that on the bottom of the foot. When I finish three times with the oregano, I then put my right hand on the recipient's left foot. I place two to three drops of the oregano oil in the palm of that hand. With the fingertips of the left hand now, I circle clockwise three times. I make the same measurement on this foot by placing my index finger alongside of the ankle bone, the part that is closest to the table. I bring that straight down. Again, this is a spinal reflex area that I'm going to address. I line up all the fingers that are placed close together along that spinal reflex area. I place the palm of my hand on top of the foot. I start with the pad, go to the tip, all the way over to the nail and pull back to the pad. Again, that's pad tip nail, back to the pad. All the way over, all the way back. Pad tip nail and back to the pad. Pad tip nail, back to the pad. Pad tip nail, pull back to the pad. All the way over, all the way back. Pad tip nail and back to the pad. The best place to stand while doing the roll and release technique is at the end of the massage table or bed that you're working with. That way, uh, my left hand and arm is lined up with the recipient's left uh, side of the body. I work one finger at a time off of the big toe. When just the index finger is left, I turn, place the thumb on the toenail, start with the pad go to the tip all the way over to the nail and back to the pad three times. I circle clockwise three times, make the same measurement, line up the fingers, lightly place the palm of my hand on top of the foot. I start with the pad, go to the tip over to the nail and back to the pad. Pad tip nail, pull back to the pad, all the way over, all the way back. Pad tip nail and back to the pad. I work one finger off of the big toe at a time. And then I turn and do the rolling and release technique three times on the big toe. And one more time for the left foot with oregano oil. I circle clockwise three times, make the measurement, line up the fingers. I start with the pad, go to the tip, all the way over to the nail and back to the pad. Pad tip nail, back to the pad. All the way over, all the way back. I work one finger at a time off of the big toe and then turn and do that roll and release technique on the big toe with the index finger. That's the third time going up the foot with the oregano oil. When I'm finished, I still have a little bit of oregano oil in the palm of my right hand. So I just rub that on the bottom of the right foot. Now to um, continue with the roll and release technique, you would do the same process <clears throat> three times on each foot. As I mentioned, using next the thyme oil, basil, cypress, wintergreen, marjoram, and peppermint. 
Um, you can practice this on your own feet, which is great. And practice it on anyone, your arms, you know, just so that you can get this technique done before uh, learning the rest of the raindrop. It's very important when you do the raindrop to have the facilitator. I've got all these wonderful oils on my hands and I'm also able to breathe them in and particularly the recipient to have them drink a lot of water. Um, well, that's what I wanted to share tonight. And so I will turn the time back to Stacy and or Pamela uh, for some um, questions and answers. Okay, well, that uh, is amazing and how exciting. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, I got you tilted. Um, okay, let's see what, what questions we have here. So there's some comments too about horses, if you wanna to speak to that at all, Tamara, as well. About what? Horses? horses doing raindrop on horses. Absolutely. Uh, Gary did a lot of raindrops on horses. We have several of our brand partners that are more animal, um, what should I say, <laughs> oriented than I am. But um, I've heard amazing things uh, with the results with raindrop on horses. When I've watched Gary do that, he usually gets a ladder depending on the height of the horses. And uh, of course they start uh, down by the hoofs for the roll and release technique and then with a ladder they do the techniques on the back just like you would you know a human awesome the other uh -huh. thing i'd like to mention about animals is you know like if you're uh, placing oils on your your smaller animals like dogs or cats their little um fur or hairs actually act as straws and so it just sucks it right into their body. So when you are using the oils with animals, please use just very little oil. So, so, so Jean T has a question. Do you do all oils in kit, including oregano? And is it okay to do just two or one at a time? I'm not sure I understand that question. Are, you talking, sure about, either. are you talking about animals, Jean? Do you want to unmute and ask your question? Yeah, with my mini, since he's little, I didn't know if, if should I just try one oil at a time with the raindrop or is it okay to do all of them on him? Is, is this a, a an animal or a, a, a miniature horse? A miniature, a horse. miniature horse. I see what you're saying. <clears throat> So I'm going to answer this question. Um, if you have a question about a, a human or a horse, okay? Since it's a little horse, like a, a younger human or a little child, okay? What I like to do is always dilute if I'm working with children. And um, I will start, instead of just using two oils, I would par probably start with just one drop of each oil and dilute. So Thank Jess, you. you're welcome. Jess asked, what is the main benefit of the raindrop technique? Immune health with all those herbs or muscle fatigue relief or something else? All of the above. <laughs> Wouldn't you say, Pamela? Yeah, I, yeah, for sure. I like to, you'll notice, you know, if you've been on our calls that the description she read our compliant language for the substantiation of the oil that we have documented in our substantiation files. So you'll notice a lot of them said muscle fatigue or, or yes. muscle, um, what did it say? To soothe, soothe tired muscles, it said. Yes. Same kind of thing, but worded differently. Um, but I also believe that Anytime you lay someone out on a table, you know, or a bed or a couch that you are extending the spine and letting um, 
a sense of calm come over. And then those of you that use oils, all of us, they use oils on a regular basis. Think about what that is doing as we are bringing someone into a calming state. Perfect. So there's a lot of benefit there. <laughs> Can you do on pregnant or nursing? If so, what changes should be made? So I have to say with a pregnant woman that they would need to check with their primary physician. Um, and I'll just leave it at that. If you want to add anything else, uh, Pamela, I would um, let you do that. As far as nursing women, uh, I have not had any women that are lactating have the, any complaints about the baby having any complaints. And so, you know, some people still might want to check with their primary physician However, I worked with a lot of um, nursing women with, um, thought it was great. Beautiful. Um, there's some testimonials in the chat. I'm just gonna tell people to read the chat. I love that, thank you. Normal length, uh, uh, does it take? Normal length of time, does it take? So when I first started during raindrop, of course, I was uh, very slow and it took me quite a while. However, most of the time you can plan on about an hour for the raindrop. Mm -hmm. 50 minutes to one hour. And um, one other thing I'd like to mention is most states require a license uh, if you're going to charge uh, for raindrop or to touch people. So uh, Gary wanted the raindrop uh, to go out into families. And so anytime you can share this with your family, if you uh, want to learn the raindrop and start um, using it on people, then you would need to check your state laws, of course. Beautiful. Yes, for sure. Any other questions that people have? Or Stacy, can you think of anything that you would like to add? Yes. Um, don't be afraid to even, um, I have a video on YouTube that you can watch uh, or don't be afraid to practice a raindrop. If you have any questions, always dilute the oil. Uh, sometimes you might wanna do a skin test with certain oils. You can do this by applying the oil inside of your um, elbow and waiting for about 20 minutes. And you can do that for the skin test if you have any questions. Or if you're in doubt, you can uh, just do the feet of the person and see how they react. And we have then- one more Oh, go ahead. No, please. We have one more question. What is yes. a substitute for Cypress? It makes her break out in a severe itchy rash. So wow. if she wasn't to use Cypress, what would she use? You know, when people ask me for substitutes, sometimes I just suggest that they skip the oil and go on to the next one. Or lavender is usually a safe oil to substitute with. Mm-hmm. Another thing that a person uh, might do is uh, look in the desk reference under um, what Cyprus can help with and look for something comparable. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I love in the desk reference, you know, there's the wheel in there. I'm not sure if it's in all the versions, but you know, the raindrop technique doesn't have to be just used with a raindrop oil. So if you don't have that kit yet, of course you can use whatever oils you have at home. And then there's a great little way to do it with the oils of ancient scripture. Um, yes. And so also. that's another fun, amazing way uh, to do it. But just, I love the, what was the technique, technique called again when you pull it away from the spine? The spinal tissue pull after yeah, the basal. That's like, yeah, that's my, like my favorite one. I always think I'm getting jippy when I get a raindrop because I fall asleep. And so I don't know if anyone did anything or not, but of course it feels great and whatever. So I love getting a raindrop. And the, the section, I, you know, of course, when you're first learning and you soak up all this information and, you know, Gary said, you, he got to hold the feet. I'm not sure if it's still the way we teach it, but, you know, hold the feet until you feel a little bit of something in your hands, right. You know, between you and them. And so I remember one time I was holding this guy's feet and he didn't want me to do a raindrop on him. Anyhow, his wife wanted me to do it on him. And anyhow, it's just this really weird thing. And, and he was trying to be on his computer. I'm like, dude, you gotta get off your computer while I'm doing this. So anyhow, he didn't like me and I'm on this <laughs> kid's twin bed 
uh, you know, trying to do this on him. And so I'm holding his feet and I look at the clock and literally it's been like 12 minutes. And so I'm just thinking like, dang, how long am I going to take to hold, you know, to feel something, right? So I'm, now I'm like really questioning myself. And he said, is all you're going to do is hold my feet? I said, no. I said, you have to do this until you feel this and this, you know, whatever, right? So it was like a few minutes later and like my hand had this huge electric little shock and his leg pulled back. He said, what are you doing to me? I'm like, I said, I'm not doing anything. And uh, a little bit more to that story. And then um, he's like, I can feel my leg. And so he's like, I can feel tingling going all the way up. So he had a situation. Uh, so I'll just keep this compliant that he hasn't felt tingling in his leg in years. And just doing the valor, we haven't even started the raindrop yet, you know, in the sense of doing the other, we were just, I was just holding the feet so far. And it was just such a beautiful, I never really followed directions. So I finally followed directions and really got to have an amazing experience with that. And so did this person where they have valued the oils uh, ever since and uh, the experience that they had with that. So it's like, you don't have to do it perfect. Um, it's the intention, of course, behind it. And so if you don't know how to do it, I remember I came in, my girlfriend was trying to do raindrop on her husband and she didn't wait until I got there. So she was on top of the counter. He was on the counter and she's had a video and she was trying, I mean, I was just like, I don't know why you had to go on the counter, but okay. And, you know, you just can do it and get it done. And it's just a blessing to be able to serve people in that way. You know, it really is. Thank you for sharing that. I have seen so many amazing things happen just with that valor balance, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. Stacey. Of course, we teach just to hold the, Valor, um, the energy balancing body energy technique for five minutes because a lot of people won't feel that energy that you've described and so if you want to wait until you feel their energy come into balance and you can certainly do that also uh, one thing i want to mention also is while you're doing the raindrop no matter who you during the, on you know it's uh, in a safe place for the mm. people to feel very safe and secure that's why we uh, work on keeping contact with the person on the table and it's not a time to you know have a deep conversation you know with your 14 year old <laughs> and whether he's finished his homework or whatever but it's just a very uh, it's it's kind of like a, a beautiful time out for your family as you're sharing this with each other a very um i consider it a sacred special time so tamara what a great question that uh let me see who asked this. Gianna has asked twice, maybe three times. Okay. She really wants this. She really, and I agree. It's a great question. So I'm going to ask for all of us to take a breath for a minute and pause because she would like, how do you compliantly explain raindrop? And I have heard Tamara do this over and over and she does it beautifully. So she would like, and let's just like an uninterrupted compliant explanation of raindrop. Perfect. So compliantly, I say that raindrop, of course, I explain how Gary formulated the raindrop with his um, <clears throat> research experimentation and also in intuition and that he combined the raindrop with essential oils, uh, targeted massage techniques and distinctive energy approaches. And the raindrop, the three words that really describe it, the raindrop is harmonizing, rejuvenating and relaxing that helps the mind and body um, come together. And that's the most harmonizing, rejuvenating, and relaxing. And relaxing it helps the words. mind and body come together. I'm just I'm quoting you and putting it down in the chat so people can cut and paste it. Helps the mind and body come together. The other thing I I often say is that word rejuvenating is the important word of the three words. Uh, without going into that, you know, you know what. It's not the spine that I'm talking about. It's not the immune system necessarily that I'm talking about. These things are very important in raindrop. But the rejuvenating word to me covers those things. So I ask the person, you know, intent, as you say, as a facilitator goes a long ways. And it also goes a long ways, the intent of the recipient. So I will often ask, what 
um, whether it's emotional, physical, or mental, what part of you, um, I ask them to even think this to themselves, what part of you would you like some help with rejuvenating? And I'm not, you know, naming anything. The recipient is thinking about those things. And so even when I teach, I might say something like that. And that is still compliant. Yes, beautiful. Love that. Mm -hmm. Just really focus on that word, rejuvenation. All right. Love it. Okay. Um, I had something, but now I can't remember what it was. It was, this is, this is so lovely because as Stacy has said, this is our service. It is meant it, to serve others, your family, your friends. It, it's really a beautiful connection between your oils, the person that is receiving and the giver. So think receiver, giver, and the oils come in for rejuvenation. Um, it, it, go ahead. It really, and you'll be amazed at when the person that you're working with, excuse me, the experience that they've had um, is amazing. Sometimes it's like, wow, I can't believe that happened with you during the raindrop. <laughs> they have such great stories, right? To tell. They do. As long as you're quiet and you're really in the moment, it's a beautiful experience. The other thing I would comment from just watching the chat, I know it's hard when you're on your phone to watch the chat, Tamara, is the other is. piece is um, when people are wanting to substitute oils or they're wanting to use, like Stacy, you said, you can use any of your oils. I highly recommend, and, and I learned this from Tamara and Gary and others, right, that there's no right or wrong as far as when your intuition tells you, when you're getting the whisper to use an oil here, you know, feel free to use that oil. Sure, you can look them up in reference guides. You can learn techniques. You can learn from others. You can do all of that. But when it's when it really comes down to it, learn what your oils do and be present with the body and the person that you're giving to and then receive the messages of what oils to use. That's really such a powerful piece to serving someone. You know, it really is, Pamela. Thank you for adding that. And with that, people often ask me, well, what oils do you, you usually add? And my answer is I almost always stick to the raindrop oils because mm -hmm. I've seen amazing things happen with this collection. <laughs> yes, I agree completely. Yeah. No use, no use trying to make it more. This was what Yep. was created you know for our our to live above the wellness line love it exactly thank you so much tamra anything else My pleasure. no just thank you so much this will be uh very helpful for this recording uh tamra is all for all young living folks and we have it housed on the splash and then other different groups and we can get you a copy of it as well and this is something that I'm sure you could use before you go teach this somewhere. And so they can have a heads up of how to do things or just the whole intention and what each oil does. And so we'll be using this for a long time. So thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. You're getting lots of thank yous in the chat. I can see that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Thank you so much, everyone. Hey, thanks, everyone. <laughs>